I'm Stephanie Landers and this is my first official run through with uh, KMOG News. Good afternoon. I'm Stephanie Landers. According to reports, an estimated 155,862 state residents of all ages are potentially eligible for the pre-existing condition insurance plan. It's a new program created under the Affordable Care Act. This applies to residents with cancer, heart disease, lupus, or other serious medical problems that have caused them to be turned down for insurance coverage or for whom insurance coverage is far too expensive. While the pre-existing condition insurance plan or PCIP could literally be a lifesaver for many, few even know it exists. Under this plan, Arizonans with pre-existing conditions can receive coverage for a wide range of medical benefits, including physician services, hospital care, and prescription drugs. Like standard health insurance plans, users are required to pay a monthly premium, a deductible, and some cost-sharing expenses, but premiums are not raised due to medical conditions, and eligibility is not based on income. To qualify for the program, you must be a U.S. citizen, have a pre-existing condition, or have been denied insurance coverage due to a health condition, and have been uninsured for at least six months. For more information, you can go online to PCIP.gov or give a call to 1-866-717-5826. The hearing impaired can call 866-561-1604. PCIP office hours are from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. In other news, as wildfires spring up across the state, many forests are initiating fire restrictions, at least until fuel moisture increases enough to ensure a safe experience. As of Wednesday, residents and visitors will see fire restrictions enforced throughout the Tano National Forest. At this time, there's a wildland fire burning south in Superior near the Boyce Arboretum. The Picket Fire, currently reported at around 800 acres, had traffic stopped along Highway 60. The highway was reopened last night. Last reports show the fire at a 40% containment. Crews are working around the clock to get this thing under control. As it stands, the Coconino and Kaibab National Forests have already implemented fire restrictions. This prohibits campfires, charcoal, coal, and wood stoves outside of developed campgrounds and limits smoking to within developed campgrounds, enclosed vehicles, and buildings. As it stands, fireworks are prohibited in all forests all year long. And after several false starts, and after several false starts and unavoidable delays, primarily due to funding, the Humane Society of Central Arizona announced that construction of a new building will be underway within the next few weeks. Bid proposals were solicited from qualified contractors. Five received, including three from Valley firms and two from local companies. The selection of a general contractor for the downsized shelter was completed after review of the proposals by the board of directors. They awarded the contract to Amen Builders Incorporated, who has been the contractor through the first phase of the original design. It is expected that the shelter will be ready for occupancy in November. A grand opening event will be held to celebrate the new shelter and honor the dedication, efforts, and generosity of the countless individuals and organizations who have come together to make a new shelter a reality for the animals served by the Humane Society of Central Arizona. And finally, the Town of Payson Design Review Board holding a meeting at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon in the Council Chambers. They will be discussing and possibly acting to amend certain design review guidelines for multifamily projects along with a submittal for the South Clark Pineview Manor Apartment Complex. Council will also hear information regarding projects that have received administrative approval, an overview of changes affecting street name signs, and an update concerning Community Development Department staffing changes. Later in the day, Payson Town Council members gathering for another special council meeting. Council will be discussing and possibly acting on an overview of the preliminary budget for the coming fiscal year, along with budget presentations from a variety of town departments, including but not limited to the Public Library, Parks and Recreation, Central Services, and Community Development. It is possible Council could cancel the next scheduled special meeting set for this Thursday.
I'm Stephanie Landers, KMOG News.